Donald Trump is a billionaire, a real estate mogul, and a television star. But does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? A lot of people would like him to. Please, let's find out, and please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. <laughs> Whenever you're on, whenever you're on with us, we're very happy. Well, we love it. Okay, so I'm going to take you at your word that you have not decided yet when you're going to run, but you're thinking about it and you've expressed some of your views, uh, which are controversial and in many ways, uh, yeah. But but not, but not to her. <laughs> well, not to her. Okay, you're a Republican, so, but, but let's we'll say point by point. let's say that you do decide in the spring, right? Um, and your ideas are resonate so much. On the other hand, um, you know, we saw Newt Gingrich apologizing for his marriages and divorces. You've had three marriages, two sort of uncomfortable divorces. Do you think no, that the... not really. They were very comfortable. <laughs> right. <laughs> we won't leave you do, do you Do you think that the country, uh, that would bother anybody? I think the country is doing so badly, they want somebody that's going to help it. I think the country is never been in a position like it is right now. It's being ripped off by every nation, every intelligent nation in the world, whether it's China, they're taking our jobs, they're making all our product, and then they loan us back the money we pay them interest. That is whether crazy. Whether it's OPEC, OPEC, which is, I mean, they're having a field day right now. How about the, the Arab League? They say, we want you to go in and attack Libya. Mm -hmm. These are the wealthiest countries in the world. Why aren't they paying us? Okay, Why so then they, they changed so their minds that, also. But you didn't so, answer my question. No, I did answer your question. Well, you, I really you think, think people... think it won't matter? I think maybe 10 years ago it would have mattered, yeah. five years ago. Yeah. The fact is, I think people want somebody now that's going to protect them and protect this country. Because we're not going to be a great country for long if we keep going the way we're going right now. If you... When, when we have... Barbara. When we have France, France leading the charge, okay, France, this is the, our new leader. By the way, they led for about two hours. After that, nobody's seen them. I don't well, know if you know that or not. Well, well, they should just ask a follow-up question to their lead is the point. Let me just ask a follow-up question to that. Let's say you run. Uh, you've given a lot of thought for this. Uh, who would you like as your vice president, possibly Sarah Palin? Well, I think it's far too early even to discuss that. I'm going to make a decision sometime prior to June. I'm thinking about it very strongly. I think I'd do a really good job. I think I'd protect this country like it's not being protected. You know, it's funny. So many of the things I say, now politicians are saying, hey, that's right. Why don't we, like, why aren't they paying us? If you look at North Korea, South Korea, we're protecting South Korea. They're making a fortune. Let's call it hundreds of billions of dollars of profit on us. We have 25,000 soldiers over there protecting them. They don't pay us. Why are they paying us? You'd be us? treating this like a business. But no, no. A business with heart. Okay. Believe me, it's, uh, there's a lot of heart. It's a business, but it's also a business with heart. We will destroy this country. It won't be a war. If the economics of this country keep going the way they're going, we're not going to have but a you, country. You're kind of a social yeah, liberal, I mean, Donald. You know, better. you're a social liberal. Could you actually get the base to vote for you in the primary? Well, every poll is saying that I'm the one that does the best. They you know, did. they're they, doing polls. They and actually have you a higher approval rating than Mitt Romney, Tim Pawlenty, uh, John Boehner. Well, but out, of, all the, out of those, if you're thinking of competition within the party to get the nomination, really your biggest competition will be, should you get the nomination, President Obama. Well, I was the only one. A CNN poll just came out, as you probably saw, and mm -hmm. I was the only one that was essentially tied with Obama. Everyone was <laughs> 10 or 15 points down. So, you know, we'll see. I haven't made a decision. I'll be making no. a decision, and I will do a good job if I decide yes and if I win. Okay. I just was wondering, because you, you were talking about how all these countries have been doing this, you, you would admit that this has sort of been business as usual for the last 30 years. I mean, oh, yes. we have, oh, yes. we, I, I so this is not, I, because nothing I, I, new, yeah. it's nothing new. This has been going on. So you're saying you would come in it's and stop on. that practice. But it's never been as bad as it is now. We've never had a trillion six in deficits. It was as bad when George Bush left office. So no, he no, was the one who had, left this. You're right. Who left right. this. Excuse me. I'm a Republican. 
That's George right. Bush, okay. he gave us Obama. I'm not a big fan of George Bush. I'm not a fan well, of let's Obamacare. Let's not talk about what, who I gave know, who, I know, baby, Whoopi, because we're we'll only going to get Whoopi's vote. If you, okay? if you did, if you did, let me just ask, if you did I'm, be... And she sorry. likes me. She even put I, I me did, in the movies. I was just say. She put okay, me in the okay, movies, yes, right? A long time ago. And how much did I judge? Nothing. Like they say in the garden. If you did beat Obama, though. Would you say you're Donald. fired to him if you did beat him in the general no, election? I don't want to trivialize it. You know, we have this show that turned out to be oh. such a success. Or maybe that's why I'm sitting here partially, because people have gotten to know you know me. They respect that. What about this? You recently said about President Obama, I'm going to quote you, he grew up and nobody knew him. Nobody knows who he is until later in his life. The whole thing is very strange. What are you driving at there? Are you a birther, well, Donald? Okay. Let, me, let me just tell you. That. I was a really good student at the best school. I'm not like a smart guy, okay? They make these birthers into the worst idiots. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? I, I think he probably he have to? because I have to, and everybody else has to. Whoopi, I'm sure why that's what you can't he show? Birth certificate? Excuse me. <laughs> why? No, excuse me. I really believe there's a birth certificate. Why? Look, she's smiling. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? And you know what? I wish he would because I think it's a terrible pal that's hanging over him. He should show his birth certificate. The other thing, if you go back to my first grade, my kindergarten, people remember me. Nobody from those early years. That's not true. We have pictures of them. Yes. What are you talking about? Okay, show me a picture. There are kids no, no, no. in Hawaii. There are people in Hawaii. I've there are people that he's grown up. No, as little kids. I haven't kids. seen early pictures. But more importantly, yeah. why doesn't he? And, and you know what? I think he probably was, but the word probably would be. Why the did word he have to defend because himself you're against you know why? Against uh, an accusation? Because, because if you're going to be the president, of course he's an American because citizen. Because if you're going to be the president of the United States, it says very profoundly that you have to be born in this country. But did anyone well, president 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 Nobody I'm sorry, is Hawaii president. not part of the I'm United States? Of George Bush. And I'm not why? saying I was a fan why? of George Bush. No, no. You know that better than anybody. But, why? but George okay. Bush was born in this country. That's right. What is uh, Hawaii, isn't Hawaii still part of the United yeah. States? Question? Am I gone? You know, Do you, you question know what? whether he was or not because he hasn't come forward no, no, no. with us? I, I grew president. up in New York. Wall Street was a big part. I have seen fraud and I have seen scandal and I have seen things that a lot of people don't see. I've seen people take a hundred dollar bill and make it a million dollar bill. We're going to have to pause. Get to the point. Okay. The point is, <laughs> I, don't, I can't rely on some newspaper that they in order that to become president of the United States, in order I to want him to show, show his Johnson's birth certificate. certificate. I want him to show his Why? birth certificate. Why? There's something okay, on that birth not, certificate that he doesn't like. Oh my God! Oh, that's a terrible that thing. Just just the I'm telling you, you Donnie, I love you. Donald, I'm telling you. I love you too. I think that's the biggest pile of dog mess I've heard in ages. The question is, is why not? Has nothing to do with that. Because I think any white president asked to be shown the birth certificate. When you become a president of the United States of America, you know that he's American. I'm saying that's BS. Are you saying that it just only lets people have doubts? Do you want to talk about about the apprentice? Doesn't matter. It's doing good. The ratings are through the roof. This is all we have to pause. We'll have more of this when we come back. Setting a bad precedent, but we love him so. We've asked Donald Trump to stay to the second segment. Real fast, could you beat Obama? I think if I run and win and get the nomination, I definitely think I could beat Obama. We're doing very, very poorly as a country. Okay, I think I could beat him. Right. Answer okay, yes, you do. Okay. I want to change it up. Or I wouldn't run. Right. If you didn't think. All right. Yeah. Just, we're going to change it a little bit and go to Celebrity Apprentice. You got a crazy cast this season, Donald. I want to start with one of the people. You do. Okay, Gary Busey. Tell us about Gary Busey. He just seems a little woo. -hoo. Yeah, he, he is. I'll tell you, he's great. He's an amazing character, but he's a total genius, but he's nuts. So it's a combination. A genius and at what? He As just, he comes up with thoughts and comes up with statements. Every, every, every and everything is that he's got initials for everything. Oh, it's and, amazing. You know, he'll come up with a word and then he'll have 15 words behind it. He really is. He's a brilliant guy, but he's got some big issues. Makes what about the emotion there? Because Meatloaf, I never knew there was so much emotion yeah. there. Oh my God. What do you yeah. Meatloaf is a big surprise to me because he's this tough, big, strong guy. He weighs yeah. 270 pounds. And every time I talk to him, he starts crying. 
Do you get emotional like that? Like John you, Boehner. Boehner. you don't like it. Because because you, no. like speaker well, John I said I don't like that. I mean, I respect John Boehner, but I don't want a person... That cries. You're very I mean, tender with meatloaf, Don. No, no, I, no, I think meatloaf is fantastic. And I think cried? John Boehner's fantastic. Last time I cried? Yeah. I don't know. Which divorce well, was it? Come on. <laughs> You know what? There's nothing wrong with crying. Not, I don't want to make like, oh, big, no. I'm some big tough no. guy. There's You're nothing not, wrong with crying. I'm just not a big guy. having a baby. She's having a baby. Maybe you'll cry That's then right. when that happens. What about the women on the show? Well, because I'll tell you, uh, Dionne Warwick is getting a baby. Dionne Warwick and Nina, yeah. gets beat and up so badly. Yeah. Dionne's look crabby. Dionne is tougher than people think, but she gets beat up. But I'll tell you who gets beat up more than anybody I've ever seen in the history of reality television. Your very close friend, Star Jones. She gets. Well, Nene is tough. She and so Nene is, is from the Atlanta house. So is Star. Don't know. They go at each other. It's unbelievable. You know, they're both smart. They're both tough. But Nene is a very big woman. And, you know, physically, just a really yeah. big, tall. powerful yeah, woman. Right. She's tall. And she is very intimidated. You have to see what but happens. But they're on the Star, same level, right? Mark my word. Yeah. Star, no, not in terms of size or no, intelligence. No, in terms of, in terms of, you know, that the they personality can, personality-wise. Personality-wise, they're both great. <clears throat> I will tell you, it's the greatest thing I've ever... It makes Omarosa... Remember Omarosa? Yeah. It, makes, it makes Omarosa like a very kind, sweet woman. This week, right. this, for the next four she weeks, won't. actually. It goes on for a period of time, but you this week... This. I love it. You love it. I do so love we should it. watch it. But I, but I really want to get to this, the, the, the roast that was on Comedy oh, Central. Wow. This that. roast, oh, Donald was so raunchy. And you're not known for being raunchy. I mean, they, you had Snoop on stage, you know, smoking. You they, it was a lot too. of sexual humor. What, how in the world did you see? It was for charity. But and how were the ratings? The, it was the best ratings they ever got. Okay. It was so the I, they I have got. to explain this. I have to explain. I did it for a very specific, I would never have done it in a million years, because I've seen the roast, they're brutal. And this was more brutal than any of them. <laughs> I did it because they paid me a lot of money and I gave it all to charity. So right. I said to myself, am I gonna sit there for an hour and be just horribly abused, and then go home and hand a lot of money to different AIDS right. research and lots of great charities? Or am I gonna sit home, watch television, and not give anything? And I decided to sit, mm. and I was actually happy with it. I was happy with how well it did. You know, it was the their most successful is, show. No, but Situation Tell there. me, how did it feel like when they really attack you and they do a hair well, job? Really your daughter well, was the hair I'm used to, Excuse me, you attack my hair all the time. I got you. See, you were worse stopped. than they were. I stopped. No, no, you were worse than they were. Do you mind when people attack your hair? No. Is there any, is and there you know anything? what, Barbara? It's it, you know what? Look, it's real. It's really mine. You is know what? <laughs> together over the years. She is very sexy, I want to tell you. Uh, he knows how to get to me. Is there anything, is there the anything audience, that you are you insecure about? Uh, that you I want mean, to say on TV? I don't want to say. You know, I probably do. I don't want to give it up. Let somebody figure it out someday. Yeah. That's right. Don't, I, don't, don't, tell that. I hate, don't you know, give ammunition to the enemy. The reason we don't have the big stars like they used to with Clark Abel and all. You know, Clark Abel didn't go on like your show and say, I'm an alcoholic, I'm this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they get on, they cry, they're alcoholics, yeah. they're yeah. this, they're drug addicts. And you say, huh, they're just like everyone else. Yeah. So if I do have an insecurity, I'm not talking. <laughs> There's nothing you haven't been successful at. You're a great character. You're a great friend of ours. We don't know whether you should be president, but we do know that you will enjoy watching. But you do admit I'd be a great president. You have possibly. Barbara, don't blow it. Uh, so, the you celebrity apprentice. You want to say something else? Besides yeah. that? No. But I don't think you're a real Republican. I no, think I'm a real Republican. I think you're The apprentice says well, Sunday nights. Check your local listings. He's always wonderful to watch. We'll be right back. <laughs>